Imagine if every tale you've ever encountered was part of a grander narrative, intricately woven through the fabric of time and space, linking the ancient past to the present day. Welcome to the exploration of the New Testament, where each word, each verse, is a strand in the magnificent tapestry of the Christian faith. Have you ever pondered how the New Testament integrates into the broader narrative of the Bible? Allow me to guide you on a voyage, not merely through pages and chapters, but through the very core of humanity's interaction with the divine. Visualize yourself in a lively marketplace in ancient Jerusalem, immersed in the sights, sounds, and aromas of a dynamic culture. You overhear murmurs of a man named Jesus, whose doctrines are revolutionizing the world. His story is merely one segment in the epic chronicle of the New Testament, a compilation of writings that spans ages and continents. But why should this matter to you? Because nestled within these holy texts is the key to deciphering the enigmas of existence, the meaning of life, and the assurance of salvation. Introduction to the New Testament. Greetings, fellow truth seekers, to the magical domain of the New Testament. Within these pages reside tales of marvel and reverence, of faith and skepticism, of love and salvation. But before we commence our journey through the annals of time, let us first establish the foundation for our expedition. Structure of the New Testament. The New Testament, a literary masterpiece composed of 27 books, stands as a testament to the timeless power of storytelling. Authored over a period of 30 to 40 years by the first-generation disciples of Jesus, these holy texts form the bedrock of Christian belief. But what distinguishes the New Testament from its ancient counterparts? It is not merely an assortment of unrelated narratives but a meticulously constructed mosaic, each piece interlocking with the next to form a unified whole. As we navigate its sacred corridors, we encounter four primary divisions, the Gospels, Acts, the Epistles, and Revelation. Together, they weave a tapestry of faith, chronicling the life, teachings, and legacy of Jesus Christ. But why should we study the New Testament in conjunction with the Old? Because, my friends, they are two halves of the same divine narrative, each informing and enriching the other. Connection to the Old Testament to fully comprehend the significance of the New Testament, we must first understand its deep roots in the fertile ground of the Old Testament. Like branches reaching towards the sky from a robust trunk, the New Testament builds upon the foundation established by its ancient predecessor. The Old Testament, with its stories of creation, covenant, and redemption, sets the stage for the grand drama that unfolds within its pages. It introduces us to a cast of characters, Abraham, Moses, David, whose lives are intertwined with the fate of nations and the destiny of humanity. But it is in the New Testament that the plot reaches its zenith, as the promises and prophecies of old find their fulfillment in the person of Jesus Christ. He is the eagerly anticipated Messiah, the promised son of Abraham, who comes to inaugurate a new covenant between God and humanity. The Gospels, depicting the life of Jesus. At the core of the New Testament lie the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, each offering a distinct depiction of the life, teachings, and ministry of Jesus. Like four skilled artists working on a single canvas, these evangelists capture different aspects of the same divine mystery. Matthew, writing for a Jewish audience, presents Jesus as the fulfillment of Old Testament prophecy, tracing his lineage back to King David and emphasizing his role as the eagerly anticipated Messiah. Mark, the briefest and most action-filled of the Gospels, portrays Jesus as a potent miracle worker, casting out demons, healing the sick, and calming the stormy seas. Luke, the meticulous historian, provides a detailed account of Jesus' life, from his miraculous birth to his death and resurrection. Drawing on eyewitness testimony and meticulous research, Luke paints a vivid portrait of Jesus as the compassionate Savior who reaches out to the marginalized and downtrodden. And finally, John, the mystic and theologian, invites us into the innermost depths of Jesus' divinity, portraying him as the Word made flesh, the light of the world, and the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Through poetic language and profound symbolism, John invites us to contemplate the mystery of the Incarnation and to encounter the living presence of God in our midst. Acts, the early Christian community. As we turn the page from the Gospels to the Book of Acts, we find ourselves thrust into the heart of the early Christian community. Here, in the bustling streets of Jerusalem and the far-flung corners of the Roman Empire, we witness the birth of a movement that will change the course of history. Led by the indomitable spirit of the Holy Ghost, the Apostles take up the mantle of leadership, boldly proclaiming the Gospel message to all who will listen. 
From the miraculous outpouring of the Spirit on the day of Pentecost to the dramatic conversion of Saul on the road to Damascus, Acts is a chronicle of divine intervention and human response. But it is not just a story of triumph and triumph. It is also a tale of persecution and martyrdom, as the early Christians face fierce opposition from both religious authorities and secular powers. Yet, in the face of adversity, they stand firm in their faith, bearing witness to the power of love and forgiveness even in the darkest of times. Epistles, Letters from the Apostles As we journey further into the heart of the New Testament, we encounter a treasure trove of wisdom and guidance in the form of the epistles, or letters, written by the apostles to the early Christian communities scattered throughout the Roman world. These epistles, penned by luminaries such as Paul, Peter, James, and John, offer practical advice on how to live out the teachings of Jesus in everyday life. From matters of theology and ethics to questions of church governance and personal conduct, these letters address a wide range of issues facing the fledgling Christian movement. But more than mere instructional manuals, the epistles are also heartfelt expressions of love and concern, as the apostles labor tirelessly to nurture and support the communities under their care. Whether exhorting them to love one another fervently, to resist the temptations of the flesh, or to stand firm in the face of persecution, these letters serve as a timeless reminder of the enduring power of faith and fellowship. The Book of Revelation, Apocalyptic Visions Finally, our journey through the New Testament culminates in the Book of Revelation, a dazzling tapestry of apocalyptic imagery and visionary symbolism. Written by the Apostle John during a time of intense persecution, Revelation offers both comfort and challenge to its readers, inviting them to glimpse the cosmic drama unfolding behind the veil of human history. At its heart lies a vision of Jesus Christ as the triumphant ruler of the universe, whose victory over sin and death heralds the dawn of a new creation. But this victory is not won easily, for the forces of evil are arrayed against him in a final, cataclysmic showdown. From the opening vision of the glorified Christ to the climactic battle of Armageddon, Revelation paints a vivid picture of the cosmic struggle between good and evil, light and darkness. Yet, woven throughout its pages is a message of hope and redemption, as John assures his readers that God's purposes will ultimately prevail and that a new heaven and a new earth await those who remain faithful to the end. Conclusion As we bring our journey through the New Testament to a close, let us pause for a moment to reflect on all that we have seen and heard. From the humble beginnings of Jesus' ministry in Galilee to the triumphant vision of the New Jerusalem descending from heaven, we have witnessed the unfolding drama of God's redemptive plan for humanity. But our journey does not end here. For just as the New Testament continues the story begun in the Old, so too do we carry forward the torch of faith into the world around us. May we be inspired by the example of the apostles and the saints who have gone before us, and may we, like them, be faithful witnesses to the love and grace of Jesus Christ, now and forevermore. And with that, dear friends, I bid you farewell, until we meet again on the next leg of our journey through the pages of Scripture. Amen. Rewrite all text but use different words write all parts assistant consider if every narrative you've ever come across was part of a grander story, intricately interlaced through the continuum of time and space, linking the ancient past to the present day. Welcome to the exploration of the New Testament, where each word, each verse, is a strand in the magnificent tapestry of the Christian faith. Have you ever pondered how the New Testament integrates into the broader narrative of the Bible? Allow me to guide you on a voyage, not merely through pages and chapters, but through the very core of humanity's interaction with the divine. Visualize yourself in a lively marketplace in ancient Jerusalem, immersed in the sights, sounds, and aromas of a dynamic culture. You overhear murmurs of a man named Jesus, whose doctrines are revolutionizing the world. His story is merely one segment in the epic chronicle of the New Testament, a compilation of writings that spans ages and continents. But why should this matter to you? Because nestled within these holy texts is the key to deciphering the enigmas of existence, the meaning of life, and the assurance of salvation.